Let's use our diversity as our strength, and I wish you all well. It's providing me with a space to think and reconnect with why it is that I do what I do. I read the list of the people who say, wow, I want to, to be there. The calibre of, of the people I'm listening to and the, just the energy and enthusiasm, and it's great. Inside, boom, boom. Boom, boom. <laughs> you already know somebody else's mind. I really f feel this very strong packed energy to, from, the, from the people. I myself am here as a fish out of water, a photographer among designers. You know, get people thinking and most importantly doing something differently. That's what I like about the design and lava. One of the great high spots was having Richard Rodriguez there this morning, um, having a cultural issue discussed by a writer at a design conference. I think it's phenomenal. My goodness! I'm going to make sure I, I get a, uh, I make a big excuse to come back very soon. Well, it's been fantastic, most wonderful array of speakers, and yeah, I learned a lot from it. And at my age, I wouldn't think there was much opportunity to learn things. I hadn't heard about it until last year, and then suddenly three or four people I know mentioned it and said what a fantastic, uh, stylish affair it was. We like to see Eight Cake as a trendy yet traditional place. It's been very interesting, you know, re really just to meet a whole variety of people and in a conference that is really international. Stephen Sagmeister turned turn around and described it as luxury, which I think is probably the definition of luxury. Everybody, you know, come to you, comes up to you and discusses what was in your lecture, and often that doesn't happen. And uh, the bouncing of ideas off is actually more important. I'm actually a fan of Brody today. It's going to be awesome. I saw him two years ago, and it's affected the way I see things. It really brought my mind to what is possible in design. So from our point of view, it's a win-win situation to take a company like ours and put it into the design arena with great designers that are attending this design endeavor. <laughs> Each speaker for me has been a, a piece of a puzzle that have just formed this incredible picture in my mind. It's a pleasure to be here to see all these, uh, yeah, these different ideas, and I share a lot with them. And show what we actually stand for as a brand, and that this is the opportunity to allow us to do that. I think we get to position ourselves in the minds of people who are cutting edge. I mean, designers are people who drive the trends. Just the vibe and the speakers and, and also the discussions. We can have more and more international designers coming here to experience kind of the magic of African creativity. Growing from strength to strength, I think it's an amazing um, event. But yeah, a really good cause worth supporting. I think the mixture is really extraordinary. So you get all kinds of influ influences, inspiration sources. We could bring out students from around the country um, to interact with world, uh, world class acts. So we're now looking to find areas of partnerships between British companies and South African companies and using Design in Darba as an event where we can actually nurture these relationships. I think the Design in Darba reminds designers, particularly graphic designers, of what is possible, gives meaning to their work. There's certainly nothing like it in London in terms of the quality of the lineup and the sheer quantity of the speakers that we have here. Uh, you really organize something uh, uh, at the top of our category. So I had a very uh, young South African coming up just before, about 10 minutes ago, who will, you know, have some sort of impact on me. I think design and Daba really, really reinforces what uh, 
Newsweek had got to say we are right up there among the top 10 creative cities in the world. SAPI is really thrilled to be associated with this forum as a platform to support international design and our local designers too. I had a chance to talk to the guys in the design industry from a strategic point of view. We can't compete unless we integrate design as a critical component of all the work that we do. It gave me faith in the fact that design can be celebrated. It's about issues of promoting access for young black kids into the design sector. I think it's absolutely amazing. I mean, I find it so inspirational and it's so, it's brilliant. It gets the creative juices flowing and obviously a lot to learn as well. <laughs> so, the, um, I mean, just the detail of it, if I, if I move, you can see it. Construction New Media Awards, every year it keeps getting better and better. And there's lots of work out there that I wish I'd done. And I like to think of Cape Town as having the possibilities that, say, the Silicon Valley has. You have a fantastic opportunity. I think the design in Darwin may well succeed in making Cape Town a mecca for design in the future. It's here to stay and I'm definitely coming back. To be honest, if I wasn't coming as a speaker this year, I think I would have come as a delegate. It's really one of the most important design events in the world.